kind of fun because it started 10 years ago when I was pregnant with my middle kiddo that's outside. Um, Jessica talks about the five people who told her no in the beginning. Hi! <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I was one of those. I will never forget, we went out to eat lunch and we were getting ready to move. And Jessica brings me all of these magazines and all of this stuff and I was like, I'm in corporate America and I don't think you know. I don't want to have anything to do with any of that. And so I literally just, we didn't talk about it. Um, but I trusted Jessica because Jessica had actually invited me to my very first Bible study ever in my life. And so we had a connection, so I, you know, I trusted her. So fast forward a few months, um, while I was pregnant, I had a health crisis. Um, I was taking Benadryl and Claritin almost every day. Um, almost every night I would take Benadryl because my allergies are so bad. My husband can attest, um, I would go through like a box of Kleenexes and just like, terrible allergies all the time, all year long. <clears throat> and um, I went to the doctor one day because I woke up and I couldn't pee. And I got to work and um, told my boss, I was like, something's really wrong. I can't use the bathroom. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant or what, but they rushed me to my OB's office. They drained almost two liters of urine off of my bladder. And they said, you've got a urinary tract infection. And I was like, oh, okay, I've never had one of those before. So they did the catheter, they did all the things, and they sent me home with one. It was the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my life. And I was like, this is crazy, you know? So he calls me back, my doctor calls me back, and he says, your urine came back negative for an infection. Are you taking anything over the counter? And I was like, well, I take Claritin, you know, like every 12 hours, and I take Benadryl most nights. And he said, did you know the combination of those two together can cause inability to urinate? And I was like, no, I had no idea. And I was like, it's not on the box, so who would know that? And I think what was more terrifying for me at the time was we had just been to the pediatrician with my oldest, who was three, and they had recommended the same routine for her without even thinking about it. And so I immediately am like, oh my gosh, we've got to figure something else out. And so I reached out to Jessica and I'm like, gut health, what do we need to do? Do I need to go down to the health food store and buy stuff? And she's like, no, read about this, take it. So I tried it. She's like, don't worry about it because it's got a money back guarantee. You know, if it doesn't work, you know, whatever. So I'm like, cold turkey off my allergy meds, you know? So I'm like, well, I'm gonna have a testimony if something happens, you know? <laughs> and, um, you know, within that 45 to 60 day period, I'm like, I don't have any allergies and I'm, I'm good. Like, and I haven't taken anything. And so it was just like a whole thing. And so I still wasn't a believer. I was a retail customer. I think you need to know that <laughs> for about six months. Um, <laughs> and I didn't even have an auto ship on at the time. And um, so fast forward to November of 2014, and my dad is a type two diabetic, insulin dependent. He's been that way now, I guess 40 years at this point. Um, but he was having like really low lows, but they would happen at night. Um, and my mom was like trying to figure out a good routine for him. His A1C was through the roof and like nothing was stable with his diabetes. And um, Jessica posted something about the pink dreams being created by this endocrinologist. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I wonder if this could help my dad. So I called her immediately when I saw the post. That's why I think these testimony posts like are so important because people, you don't know who's watching and you don't, you know. So I'm like reading this and I was like, what do you think? She's like, yeah, I mean like just buy the pink drink for him. So I, Moved on over to preferred customer land. Wasn't even ambassador yet. Um, one baby step at a time. And um, I bought it from my dad, sent it to him. Um, and within two weeks, he was able to cut back his dosage on his insulin. It was insane. Um, his A1C levels have continued to be normal. Y'all, that's 10 years ago. That was 10 years ago. And so at that point um, in December of that year, there was a special and it was like a dollar registration. I think it was like New Year's Eve or something. And I, I remember exactly where I was on the highway and I called Jessica. I was like, I'm ready. I was like, all right, sign me up. Like, what do I need to do? You know, and so she, she tells me all the things. Um, and so I started this really cool business um, 10 years ago, really part time. I, I really enjoyed my, my corporate career and the things that I was doing. Um, at a point, the Lord called me away from that and I've been able to just be home and be a wife and enjoy my time. But I will tell you guys that I took about two years off. Um, we were building a house, we had moved into a smaller place and um, I took two years off. And this summer, we were on a cruise and um, I had been kind of wrestling back and forth with picking my business back up. 
And I just really didn't know where I was with it. I had been praying. I, I wish you could see the prayers that I prayed with my husband about this business. And just the community I think I missed so much. But we were getting ready to go to formal night one night. And my daughter won bingo. This is the best story. My daughter wins bingo. Both, Both daughters win bingo, but my oldest won four hundred dollars. Okay, and so yes, so she's like, we're sitting there, and she's like telling us her big plans. You know how a, a twelve-year-old has big plans for four hundred dollars, right? And she's like, I'm gonna buy a puppy. And uh, she's like, Caleb says, well, you know, puppies are expensive. You know, you got to do all these things for them, and you know, all this stuff. And, and who's gonna take care of it during the day? And she said, well, mommy, mommy doesn't work. Mommy can do it. And I turned around and looked at her, and Caleb's going through all the things that a mom does, right? He's defending me. He's like, moms do this, mom does that. She helps with the business. She does all this stuff. And I turned around and looked at her. I said, you, you know I still have a plexus business, right? I said, I want to tell you a little story. I said, I haven't worked my business. I've taken my products, but I haven't worked my business almost two years. I said, plexus has continued to pay me $800 to $1,000 a month over a period of time where I did nothing except for what I did before. I don't know where you can go, or what kind of business you can have that will continue to give you an income where you're not growing and actively doing things. I was like, oh my gosh. And so I turned to Caleb and I was like, that's it. Like, that's it. What, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. I was like, well, I've got to so it was so funny because I had prayed and prayed and prayed about this, and I was told Jess, I was like, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some stuff out there, you know. <laughs> the night that I did it, I have two team members here, but there's a third, um, and one of them called me literally at 11 o'clock at night, and she was like, the Lord has been stirring this back in my heart too, and I was like, oh my word, oh my gosh. And then another one calls, and we have an hour conversation, and another one calls, and I was like, okay, the Lord is realigning things. So it was just so special. Um, to know, and uh, the last testimony I'm going to tell you is about my son. Um, inflammation is the root cause of so many things, and like Crystal was talking about, you know, like gut health is just, I feel like it's a, it's a key word now, but it wasn't that big of a thing, you know, but he had mold exposure when he was a baby, and he has dealt with um, chronic asthma from that, and um, last year we had his lungs tested because he was having a lot of flare-ups and things. And, you know, it's one of those things where, like, I know what to do. I know what to do. But, like, you don't make them do it. You know, you don't make your kids take their vitamins every day or take their things every day. And so he had his lung test, I guess it was like a year and a half ago. And it was like 72%. His lungs were not functioning very well. And um, so when we had gone to the doctor, he's like, he's just got so much inflammation. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. Inflammation. Okay. I can help with that, you know? And so I was like, two days, two probiotics a day, we're gonna do that every single night. And so religiously, that kid knows. He knows where it's at, he puts it in a smoothie every night. Good night, mom. He knows where it's inhaler, everything's all together, right? His lung function, right before school started this year, you guys, was 92%. <laughs> like, seriously, like, amazing thing. So we have amazing products that work. I wouldn't still be here 10 years 